competition brings students from the surrounding area to Trine University in order to work on math problems, uh, work toward uh, achieving the best possible answers, and then getting uh, winners, getting scholarships to attend Trine University. The math competition, this is the 36th annual competition, and so it's been successful. This competition has positive impacts on the faculty at Trine, and also, on the other hand, on the student competitors. For the faculty, the, the math competition gives them an opportunity to work together as a team. They, they get together, they grade all of the problems that the students put together, all, their, all of their solutions, and it helps to build their own esprit de corps as a, as a unit, as a math department. For the students, it gives them an opportunity to come to a university campus, to experience what it's like to be on a campus, but more importantly, to, to work math problems and see potential benefits that, that being able to solve problems would have for them in terms of future career opportunities as well as for their future academic studies. So we hope that the math competition will, will also inspire the students to take the study of math in their high schools more seriously because there are outstanding benefits for them in the future if they pursue math uh, at the university level. Um, I would say the appeal for a teacher is that it gives um, some of our upper level students uh, the opportunity to see what competition is out there and to also see what um, colleges expect them to be able to do and it gives them an opportunity to get some scholarship money. The winning individual student wins a $5,000 scholarship from Trine. Each of the members of the winning team win a $3,000 scholarship. The winning math the math teacher of the winning team gets a $1,000 stipend um, for use in their classroom. The second place team gets a $500 award and the third place team gets a $250 award. For the students, besides the scholarships, the appeal is the students get to see how they match up against students at other area high schools. Um, most of the time the students aren't competing against the other, they're just competing against other people in their schools, other students in their own schools. But this gives them a chance to see how their school and their math department stacks up against other schools' math departments. Well, I think all these opportunities help any student who is interested in, you know, math and perhaps he, my son in particular, wants to get a degree in applied mathematics. and. Um, in the junior high, we have a wonderful math program with some phenomenal teachers who take them to these competitions, but it kind of stops in the high school. So now that I have a freshman in high school, we have all these students excited about math. So as a parent, I have taken it upon myself to generate some excitement among the high school teachers and students, and I am bringing them to several math competitions this year. And um, as we generate excitement at the high school, more of the teachers and more of the administrations are getting on board and we will be doing these things, uh, we'll be bringing more students next year and just I hope this just increases. However, since this particular program offers money to the school, I would love it if my Warsaw kids came and had a thousand dollars bring me back to the school because that thousand dollars would go right into a fund to support them to attend more of these types of events. Um, this year I drove four kids up, next year I'd love to get a bus and bring a bus load of kids up and with a thousand dollars I could do that. I don't consider myself that good at math. I enjoy math. I do. I do like math but I think the people that I'm here with, they're very good at math. <laughs> I'm excited to see where I score because I don't exactly know how I am compared to most people. So it'll be interesting to see. I've always enjoyed math and then my sophomore year my teacher asked me if I'd be interested in coming up to Trine and going to a math competition. I said sure yeah I'll come and then I had fun my sophomore year and then I came last year and my junior year and then this year I wanted to come again. This is a fun experience. So what are some of the rewards though if you're a good mathematician what can happen? Um, you can win the scholarships at Trine, and also we can go back to our school and we have some bragging rights that like, hey, we won the math competition, and so it's real fun that way. And then this year, since I'm coming to Trine next year as a freshman in college, I'm hoping to actually win the competition so I can win the scholarship money, and that would put it towards my tuition for next year. Well, I um, came here in high school, and the, this was done completely differently, and, and it was fun coming here. And now I'm a teacher at Coldwater, and so we have you know, math students there who are interested and we try to provide opportunities for them to come and, 
and do something fun with math, but also I have an opportunity to earn scholarship money. It's definitely improved and increased in size, I would think, also. We used to do them in little classrooms, and now they come and they have this set up so nicely, and it's so nice for the students to come and see the campus, too. And they allow, I think, a little bit more time for them to come in and, and see the programs that they have here and what's available and get them interested in trying as well. Mathematics is so important in everyone's life, and I want to speak to that for about just 30 seconds. I have a mouse pad that says, what do you want to do? Do math, and you can do anything. And I firmly believe that. And I hope you do too.